Hey guys, this is Carlos Lastra. I'm a professional skateboarder with three block skateboards and braille. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys the hippie jump. So you might ask yourself, what is a hippie jump? It's actually a very easy trick, okay? And as long as you use the right steps, easy to execute, and you feel like a champion at the end of the day. Okay, so what the hippie jump is, is basically you let the board go under an obstacle, you jump over it, land on it like a champion. It sounds very easy, but it does have a lot of flaws. I'm gonna go about all the details to make sure you understand it and you ride away safely as possible. And beyond that, I'm gonna teach you guys different variations on how to do the hippie jump. But for starters, we're gonna do the tutorial for the beginner part, okay? So one of the main rules in skateboarding is foot positioning. Very important. So what you have to do with this particular trick, okay? You don't wanna stand traditional, which is, you know, foot on tail, foot mid to ride cruising. The hippie jump, you literally want to put your feet over all eight screws. Kind of slightly hang your toes off as well. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated because as you approach the obstacle, most people tend to try to jump forward. You think you need to jump over it. That's not the case. If you jump over it, the board's going to shoot behind you. If you jump backwards, the board's going to shoot in front of you. That leaves one more option. All you have to do, okay, you just bend your knees, jump straight up, as long as you do that just right, the board will follow under you and you'll end up on the other side safely. So don't jump back or forth. You gotta jump straight up to execute this trick. What if the hippie jump is really tall? Cause the little ones, you can just barely jump, okay? So we're gonna add a step to that. So you do jump straight up, okay? But the main thing is when you jump up, both feet same time, you gotta tuck up your knees to make you go higher. So almost like this, you can pounce and then lift up your knees and that'll execute like the height that you need to get. For practice steps, okay? Because obviously you don't want to hang up on a chain or anything. If your foot hits, you're gonna fall down and we don't want that to happen. So to do a proper step, you just kind of pick a line and then your goal is to jump up, make sure that your board can end up on the other side of that line and you're on the board safely, okay? So make sure the board can follow through with you as well. You gotta pick a crack or a line and the actual goal is to bend your knees, for training, jump straight up, make sure the board follows you to get on the other side of that line, okay? Because if we do the actual hippie jump and you don't know what you're doing, chances are you're gonna hang up your feet and fall down and that's no fun for anybody. Basically, most people, when you're learning a trick, you wanna jump and land one foot first, okay? For this trick, you wanna land both feet. If you can have the confidence to do so, you're more likely to ride away. Because landing on one foot off, jumping off your board, it makes it way harder to execute the balance. So that's step one, okay? You pick a line, you jump straight up, get your board over the other line, and then land straight back on it, okay? That's step one. Next step is you kind of want to take a shoelace. That's what I personally do, because I don't like being hung up. So I would tie a shoelace from one uh, obstacle to the other, but not that tight. So if I do hit it on the jump, I'm not going to be tripping. It actually just falls off and then you're safe. That's a very good way to practice it before you actually try the real trick. So from that point, once you build the confidence and you know that you're ready to do it, you basically just put the rail down or a chain and telling you, get a good amount of speed, jump straight up. The board will follow you to the other side of the, the crack and you will ride away safely. Okay, so now we're on to what can go wrong. I personally got hung up one time, I, and you didn't want to do this video at all, so I figured, let's bring you in, because it sounds like you had a bad experience. What yeah, happened? I don't have a, here, here we go. <laughs> there we go. So say, this is the thing I'm trying to hippie jump, so I'm going to go over. All right, so what happened was, I was going, my jump, my back foot got caught and my front foot got caught on the board, so I did like a full like split. Full wind dango splits. A full wind dango split, tore my ACL and my lateral meniscus and uh, decided never to do another hippie jump. Dude, no wonder, man. I was always wondering why you don't do hippie jumps at all. That is why. Okay, well you heard it there first, folks. Um, basically what you did wrong was he jumped a little bit too late, so you gotta get your timing down. That's one of the hardest thing. Legs. Yeah, if you don't tuck your legs or get the timing right at all, chances are you will hang up and that momentum will just whip you to the ground full force. Or just anything can happen. It's very unpredictable. So you just got to know to jump at the right time and make sure to always tuck up your knees. And be confident in your jump. And be very <laughs> confident in your jump because anything can happen. Yes. Yeah, even though I, to my core, hate hippie jumps, if someone does it in the game of skate, 
I'd do anything not to get that letter. <laughs> That's true. Well, we won't be making you do any hippie jumps today. I'll, I'll handle all that. I'll probably even take the hang up just to show You're what it's like hero. to fall. Yes, appreciate it. Yeah, we uh, made a joke earlier. We we're going to make Fetty do this video. And he's like, nope, not handling that at all. Good luck, Carlos. Okay, you guys, nothing much more to it than that. You just follow the proper steps and you will right away safely guarantee it, okay? Step one is foot placement. Make sure to cover all eight screws. Golden rule, keep your knees bent. As you're approaching the obstacle, make sure to jump straight up and tuck your knees. If you do it just right, the board will follow and you'll end up on the other side of that line. Full on hippie jump trick, good to go. And like I said, do the proper precautions, okay? Jump a line first to make sure you don't get hung up. After you get that, tie a shoestring from obstacle to obstacle loose enough to where if you hit it, you're not gonna get tripped. Once you get all that down practice-wise, you just fully commit, bend your knees, suck your legs up, and that's the hippie jump. Okay guys, once you execute the hippie jump, you're not done there. There's so much more variations with this trick that you could do. And if you understand the trick itself, it's so fun. You could do shove it hippie jumps, you could do tray flip hippie jumps. Sometimes you can even add a late flip after you tray flip hippie jump. And there you have it. I hope my tutorial helps you guys in the long run to get this trick down. Like I said, don't jump too late because that's the last thing you want to do is get whipped to the ground. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below on any other trick you want to learn from us from anybody experienced at Braille. We're all willing to teach you to get better and just progress daily. So thank you guys, have a nice day and get out there and hippie jump. And check out all of our tutorial playlists. You will not be disappointed.